day 34 here. I uh, went to <clears throat> record this morning and as soon as I said day 34 the battery died. Um, <laughs> forgot to charge it in my haste to get ready last night. <clears throat> so lesson learned. Should have a backup battery with me just in case but um, ended up doing my long run today. Um, buddy Sam wanted to, to get in some miles and I had been wanting to do a, a big loop so uh, we made the best of it and uh, we got in uh, a little over 25 miles um, super super great loop um, for those of you that are familiar with Pisco we headed up from the Mills River campground and uh, ran up Yellow Gap Road to the, the gap itself and then um, we took a left on Bradley Creek and then um, ran down to uh, Laurel Creek um, and then, sorry I thought a car was coming, um, at Laurel Creek we uh, headed up to Squirrel Gap and shot across Squirrel Gap which is a trail we were on the other day when I was running with Dave Workman on Thanksgiving and uh, took that to Horse Cove came over Horse Cove and uh, this is where I wish I had my camera it's such a beautiful run we, we caught glimpses of uh, looking glass um, we caught uh, the Pisket in I mean it was just it's gorgeous with these uh, you know these winter views if you will with the leaves down so uh, really, really pretty morning. Super cold. It was about 23 when we started. Um, and uh, man, whew, what a, oh God, what a great loop. Um, neither of us were feeling too, too speedy. <laughs> so we just kind of took it easy. Um, just enjoyed the company. Uh, I fell about maybe four or five times. <laughs> um, the leaves were were super treacherous this morning. One time my foot just skid out and I just, you know, I couldn't catch myself and just laid on my side. Um, I used my uh, Solomon Advanced Skin 5 today and really loaded it up just to kind of start, um, you know, getting used to some weight on my back. I used a uh, two liter bladder um, with some scratch and then I just, I had tons of food. I just loaded up with food. My stomach just wasn't there this morning, so I, I didn't eat a lot, which, you know, I, sh I should definitely be practicing my, my fueling like I talked about the other day, but like I said, my stomach was just kind of blah. So, um, just ate one packet of uh, scratch chews and drank my fluids. Uh, it was about all my my stomach could handle but uh, you know to be honest like my energy levels never really dwindled I didn't really feel hungry uh, so you know this, it, it, it was fine I didn't bonk or you know I, I was fine even at the end I was glad to be done <laughs> um, we came down yellow gap to finish and uh, you know that was that was nice we just kind of had a great great run there um, you know the advanced skin did well it, you know, it bounces a little bit like I was talking about about the 12 12 seems to bounce a little bit more especially under more weight so uh, I was looking uh, you know to keep talking about packs I was looking at the um, raid light I talked about that in yesterday's uh, video um, and uh, they uh, their packs they came out with uh, uh, a few new they have version twos of some of their popular packs so I was looking at those and I watched some video reviews and stuff like that and um, the uh, uh, revolutive I think it's called I have to double check that <laughs> you have to fact check me on that one but uh, anyway that's the one I ordered um, it uh, it's it's got plenty of pockets which you know that's that's kind of what I'm looking for it's got uh, I think 11 total I think it's like seven drop pockets and four zip pockets so um, you know good capacity uh, thing that really 
turned me on about the pack was uh, it's got a boa um, kind of harness so uh, you can tighten your uh, you know your torso um, so that it, it you know it, it or loosen it for that matter uh, with this boa system so it's got like three kind of um, um, cords that kind of go around the the rib cage and you can loosen or tighten those based on your your fitting need so um, yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited about that um, you know the uh, it's 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 European a little bit more expensive um, but hopefully it'd be worth it um, in my quest to find a, a good pack um, so I'm excited to check out the raid light uh, hopefully get that this week if we don't have any problems with with customs um, they also had this really cool I've been looking for some kind of cup that I could use for both uh, warm and cold uh, fluids so you know if I get like soup broth or uh, uh, you know or, or soda so hot or cold uh, that I could use you know for both because the typical um, the, the silicone uh, cups that we use you can't really use them for uh, um, <clears throat> for hot fluids uh, it's just it's not not possible with those those thin little things so uh, well it is but it's just it's it's tough to drink the fluids and they get really flimsy so um, this looks like it's it's a lot oh it's designed for it. it's designed to have hot fluids as well it's thicker uh, but it collapses uh, it was is on sale on their website and they've got like a, a cup holder you just kind of put it in there and then you can attach it to your pack uh, the other thing that I liked about red light is they also have a quiver um, so poles do attach to the pack but you can get the quiver uh, kind of like the Solomon quiver if you've seen that I have that as well but um, they have their own quiver that attaches to the pack that you can throw your your poles in and uh, you know again attach to the pack that was out of stock so um, I have a, just a, a email notification when that comes back in because uh, I think that would be a, a good investment. Um, so uh, yeah, I ordered a few things there. I ordered a, a Cool Max shirt. Uh, Red Light had a, a pretty cool shirt, so ordered that as well. Um, also ordered um, some. Um, let's see, uh, Hydro Flask. No, not Hydro Flask. Excuse me. Uh, hydro pack. Yeah, hydro pack. I ordered some new bladders uh, to mess around with um, They've got um, some that um, that stay um, Stay cooler uh, And they also have some that you know, they're not supposed to well They, they also stay cool, but they also don't allow uh, Freezing which should be good for for this time of year. Not that I had any problems today even at 23 degrees. I just I didn't suck through my my hose too early. I didn't want anything in my hose because uh, I figured it would freeze in those colder temperatures this morning. So I waited a bit before I did that. Um, but um, anyhow, uh, <clears throat> I ordered some some stuff from Hydro Pack, um, just uh, some bladders uh, to try out, and then uh, yeah, I was just trying to take advantage of uh, some Black Friday deals. Um, and then the feed had 20% uh, off site wide, so ordered a few things from there, um, you know, for nutrition and hydration. Um, so got some deals yesterday. There was no deal on the pack. Um, Red Light is having a sale on some of their older stuff, um, and it's like 40 to 70% off depending on the pack and etc. So um, you know that's that's going on uh, I'm not sure if that's um, just Black Friday or not but you can check out if you're interested in checking out the red light stuff um, red light I I think I found out about them more through UTMB when I did UTMB they kind of came on my radar um, the uh, I had never really seen uh, their stuff in person until UTMB because they are a, uh, a French European company um, so um, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. They have uh, they have footwear, apparel, um, all sorts of stuff. So it's pretty neat. Uh, I again have no affiliation with uh, with Red Light, um, but like I said, it, I 
I've seen good reviews. I'm hearing good things about them. Their their stuff looks pretty quality, thought out. Um, you know, uh, reasons for having different pockets and and where they are located. So, um, and the other thing I like too is that their uh, their pockets are <clears throat> they're water resistant. Um, so you know, if, if you go into uh, some rain and you've got you know some gear you want to keep dry, hopefully. Uh, the pockets will be able to keep your stuff dry. So I thought that was pretty cool. So like I said, some well thought out stuff. Um, you can hear the, the gun in the background there. It's, it's been uh, uh, it's been one of those days. It's, it's probably one of the more popular hunting days. Um, so we saw a bunch out this morning. Just said hi and kept on moving. Uh, it's always, you never know. <laughs> how hunters are going to react. Uh, I was definitely wearing my blaze orange so that uh, they could uh, they could see us us coming. Um, but um, yeah, not the greatest day to do uh, a long run in the national forest, but um, yeah, I, I probably tomorrow would have been a better day, but it's done. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, back to red light. Um, like I said, excited to try something different, um, see how it, how it fits and feels, uh, and moves. Uh, hopefully that BOA system will keep it <clears throat> a little bit more bounce free. Um, I think the, uh, the folks at USWE, I think they're really on to something. They definitely have a great fit. Uh, it's just a matter of dialing in the, uh, the pockets and such. I mean, you know, it's just uh, like on my Solomon vest, it's just like they used every bit of material and created pockets so that you had, you know, you could put stuff everywhere. I mean, uh, today I had my GoPro, my phone, um, my Garmin Mini InReach, like they're all in different pockets. And I still had plenty of room for my nutrition. Um, and uh, I carried an emergency blanket um, a little stick of squirrel nut butter just in case um, I carried uh, I've got the Solomon um, filtration uh, bottle and a cap uh, so you know and I carried a spare jacket um, so plenty of storage plenty of space and that's the kind of thing I'm looking for but just something that doesn't bounce as much so uh, that's my goal there um, and let's see anything else um probably gonna take it easy the rest of the day here uh i'll do what i was supposed to do today i'll probably just do tomorrow um I've, i was supposed to do uh nine miles and some uh some hill strides and then uh some core so i'll just save that for tomorrow uh i don't know if i'll see if i'm feeling up to core today um maybe we'll see but like i said i may just save all that for tomorrow um nice walk just kind of shaking out the legs um just gonna work on on recovery today uh got done came home um and when i got home i just had a good good meal uh, i had about three fried eggs with some uh, gluten-free toast some butter and jam and uh, uh, I grabbed my uh, Orgain protein shake, had one of those, so just got the recovery on its way. Had some leftover scratch in the bladder, finished that off, so just gonna try to stay hydrated today and uh, you know, take it easy. But um, yeah, all good stuff, all good things. Um, wore a new pair of Lone Peaks today. Um, I was feeling kind of sloppy in them and I think it was just I needed to to loosen them up because we got to a certain point and I had to hold Sam up and just say hey I gotta gotta tighten these and once I got them tight it was it was a different world it was a totally different run uh, felt so much more comfortable having adjusted them and getting them tighter around my foot um, I'm just so used to my old pair there you know that you just throw them on your foot and you need to really don't have to mess around with the laces too much you just kind of give them one tug and, and tie them off and they're good this new pair uh you know i just had to 
dial in the lacing a little bit and once I did that it was great um, but, you know it I just I like that Lone Peak the current version has been been pretty good to me um, the uh, Mountain Racer is always nice uh, when I, I ran in it yesterday at the Mountain Racer 2 and uh, you know when it's rocky I don't know the the lugs just seem to kind of trip me up more when I can't see what's underneath so I just need a shallower lug um, in the leaves just because like I said uh, it's, it ends up tripping me up if I'm not careful um, whew, that sounded like a big one um, but uh, um, wore the uh, XO toes again today um, the new wool ones been very pleased with those um, and uh, yeah I guess I'm getting the, de the gear pretty dialed in um, I've got the uh, exoskin three-quarter um, tights they're a great little uh, mid layer if you will um, I tend to wear a, a brief and then the, uh, the three-quarter shorts and then today I used the two times you um, they've got a, uh, a capri um, which seemed pretty pretty nice for the, the temps um, so and then I wore my uh, Patagonia base layer and uh, an old uh, Nike top that I have it's it's a little bit thicker but it's hunter orange it's the brightest one I have so um, that was great and then started early we started at six so I used my headlamp uh, that Petzalactic core um, <clears throat> worked great we were on fire roads until we turned them off uh, so we didn't need them on single track or anything which worked out well so um, didn't use poles today or anything like that uh, today was more of a running day you know even with the the slowdown on uh, on squirrel uh, you know it, that really did take us a lot of time but uh, even with that we were still averaged about just over 1030 pace per mile you know for a good single track route 25 miles and um, we got a little over 3,000 feet of gain um, so decent loop decent pace not blazing but like I said didn't have a lot of pep in the step today but yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with it good stepping stone along the way um, so anywho that's it for today uh, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow hopefully everybody enjoys their day and, uh, and I hope you get your long run in this weekend as well <laughs>